morning to all of you in the FARS Academy. Welcome to FARS Academy. Today is the introductory class for MRCP part 1. We will discuss about what is MRCP exam, why do we do MRCP, what is the eligibility criteria, exam format, uh, the dates of exam and application fees, how they score uh, our they evaluate the paper what is the passing score and once you pass what will what will be the benefit and how far the academy will help you to uh -huh. and what are the live class topics and books uh for suggestion so about mrcp exam it is a membership exam of royal college of physicians united kingdoms and it has uh, mrcp is for the medical internal medicine graduate exam it is equivalent to M md exam in india and the benefit of the MRCP is uh, it is a NMC recognized valid postgraduate degree in India. And also it is recognized worldwide as a postgraduate doctor special specialist for the medicine. And it has three parts, part one, part two, and the basis. MRCP part one is... Uh, is basically the basic uh, they find out the basic knowledge whether you are able to diagnose the pathophysiological changes the physiology behind it the pharmacology the toxicity adverse effect so part one is the basic clinical subject part two is mainly clinical subject where the question you will get uh, problem oriented and core from the clinical medicine and mrcp basis is the clinical test uh, the practical exam where case based scenario is given and it has a uh, five tables and now this year they will change uh, the uh, the uh, stable scenario so the new guideline has uh, raised, but uh, till date, uh, they are going to old system only. So today we will focus on the MRCP part one only. So MRCP, uh, it is uh, the UK based degree of the post graduation, but it is worldwide recognized and especially in the Singapore, Malaysia, Saudi Arabia, UAE, our India, Australia, Canada, and America. So once uh, the advantage of the MRCP over the MD, MD is recognized only in India, but outside of the India, world is treated as a specialized training. But in MRCP, world recognized as a specialized training as well as specialized degree so that is the important thing eligibility criteria anyone who pass mrc uh, mbbs exam in a recognized medical uh, college who uh, which it should be world federation of medical council recognized college and uh, that means most of the NMC recognized college is uh, World Federation recognized college. And after passing the MBBS, you have to have the 12 month postgraduate training. Actually, it is an internship in India. So 12 months uh, in UK, it is, is it's called foundation course. So it's mandatory 12 month postgraduate training in medicine and uh, include the residency or internship program whatever you say and gmc must approve this uh internship and exam format is uh, there is one day exam 
it has two paper paper one and paper two each paper contained 100 mcq exam and uh, the mcq is uh, is is uh, uh, best five uh, question and remember the beauty of this exam is there is no negative marking so it is better to touch all the questions there is no negative marking like indian neat pg exam system and also there is uh, no image you will get but definitely you can get uh, some ecg images uh, they try in part one they try to give the basic things and focus on the diagnostic and recognition of the problem and uh, it is uh, before the covid it is uh, like a pen and paper exam nowadays they have a uh, exam in the pen and paper and also in the online so you can choose anyone and the dates of exam in uh we are focusing on 2024 so there is there is a four diet diet one is the january 24th january the fees if you give the exam in the uk 460 pound and if you give the exam from the indian uh center then 600 or outside uk it is 601 Six, 616 pound and uh, 20th november uh, probable uh, date of uh, you will get the form and result published by 23rd february second diet on the 17th april is the exam date and application period is the 5th february to 12th february fees same and 19th February uh, is reasonable adjustment de deadline. Reasonable adjustment deadline means that uh, you can withdraw, you can postpone uh, this exam. You will get a uh, refund of the fees and result published in the 17th May. Diet 3 in the August. So the application period is 3rd June to 10th June and fees is the same and reasonable adjustment deadline is 17th june and your result published in 13 september just a minute mm -hmm. So uh, next fourth diet is on your October. The application period is 5th August to 12th August. So everywhere you will get seven days for the application period. Fees more or less same. You will get one deadline for adjustment or withdraw. And a result of the October diet is on the 15th November. Now scoring system, scoring system, you will get total two paper, 100 question each, so 200 question and the marks is uh, each question has one marks, so 200 total marks, uh, sorry, uh, four marks, so 800 is the total marks and passing code for the part, part one is 540, part two is 54 and both are written exam part one and part two both are mcq and basis is the practical exam where the scenario based where you have to score 130 benefit of passing in uh in mrcp part one if you pass you will uh you will get job opportunity in the UK. If you pass MRCP full uh, part one, part two and PACES, you will get GMC registration and also uh, you will get job opportunity. Most of the students who are planning to go UK 
either by OET uh, overseas training program or by your uh, after giving the PLAB exam. Nowadays, uh, the U uh, GM, uh, UK Royal College paper, uh, those who pass part one exam, they are getting better job opportunity and higher salary than the ordinary who pass only the PLAB exam. So PLAB is the exam to get the GMC registration. Uh, registration. It is a uh, licensing exam. And after you get the license, license, you can apply for the job. And once you are getting job, in the UK system, there is a two type of job. One is the teaching and another is the non-teaching. Non-teaching job is available, but teaching institutional job is a uh, little restricted. And if you have a MRCP part one clear, you will get easily in the teaching uh, institution job. And unless you are joining in a teaching institution, there is no growth uh, or development in your career in the UK. So how FARS Academy will help you? We uh, encourage you to adopt LPRR, listen, practice, revise, recall method. LPRR method emphasizes active engagement of the material, reputation, self-assessment, all effective strategy of learning and retaining information. So what is this? Uh, what is listening? You start listening material by attending lecture, watching educational video and practicing and discussing uh, with uh, participating in the discussion. And step one, we are giving the live classes. We have a, uh, plenty of recorded topic-wise discussion and uh, we have a plenty of pre-recorded video where we are discussing about the question answer. So practice, we have a lot of uh, more than 2,500 question in the our apps or our LMS system where you do regular practice. I will request all of you to spend at least two, three hours in the practice session. Then step two is uh, practice question, uh, you have an opportunity to give mock test and also mega mock test. Difference between mock test and mega mock test. Mock test is the subject-wise MCQ test and mega mock test is uh, clubbed together total five or six subject and analysis each, each and every question. And also you will get personalized uh, the scoring uh, card where you can understand your uh, status and you can improve gradually if you can improve uh, when a, 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 your scorecard showing that you are improving gradually then there is a chance of success is high and you have to revise repeatedly and before giving your exam, you have to at least revise twice all the question and you have to listen all the video carefully at least twice and then uh, you can appear for the exam. So it will make your life easy. Listen all recording live, practice domain wise question, take small note in your study make note on your tab laptop mobile then uh, there is a recall recall means to achieve recalling information you stand then in your memory identify any gap your understanding that need further review and one more important thing in the first academy that our teacher is subject specific teacher we are providing the mentorship so if you have any time any problem you can communicate with us you can clear your doubts and you can 
uh, and uh, that's the beauty and step four is just go through your notebook go through all pre-recorded video and focus on your weaker section and make them strange so live classes topic actually we have made this topic according to the syllabus of the uh, courses uh, in first part one mrcp part one there is a 19 subject so the major subject is your respiratory medicine, rheumatology, clinical pharmacology, nephrology, gastroenterology, neurology, endocrinology. Uh, these are the major, major area and also the hematology, cardiology and uh, oncology. So and the minor area is dermatology psychiatry ophthalmology and genitourinary and aids infectious disease topical medicine these are the area and statistics these are the area is the minor area where five to seven marks uh, question is coming from uh, this area but remember uh, this is the area of high scoring area like dermatology psychiatry and or ophthalmology here syllabus is very less and question is multiple time uh, repeat question you will get also in the genetics in a small area but high scoring area and statistics also same so any book for suggestion yes uh, the book uh, you will read the oxford handbook of clinical medicine this is a recommended book for your uh, mrcp preparation and uh, and the note we will provide you uh, that note you can read and uh, the mcq the explanation is okay uh, i will suggest you the oxford handbook of clinical medicine you go through at least several times and three to four times and another book uh, they recommend that is Kumar and Clark, but Kumar and Clark is a bigger book. Uh, so if you have enough time, you can go through the Kumar and Clark. Otherwise, Oxford Handbook for the part one is enough. And the most important thing is that practice and practice of the question. So you have to spend time on the apps you have to spend time on the uh, the our lms uh, side in forge academy mrcp app is available in android in the google play store and also <laughs> the ios store so you can download the app and you sign up and you start practicing so if there is any help needed so our it team is there our coordinator is there our teacher mentor is, is there so i think you will not have any problem to uh, pass this exam because you are the fourth batch who are going to appear in a regular courses of fars academy so and our pass rate is more than 80 percent but definitely it is true that it is your exam you have to prepare i can give you the glass of water but glass you have to swallow so you have to be honest on your dedication you have to give at least three hours at least three hours in a regular basis not like that one uh, one day i'm studying 10 hours and rest two three days i'm not studying anything so it will not uh, make uh, make out so you have to be a very regular you have to be a uh, very focused and whatever you uh, help is needed we will do thank you yes if you have any query any uh, anything in your mind you can ask 
so first of all you all uh, tell me whether you have sign up in the lms system or not till date have you downloaded the app in your mobile or in your tab if not please do today sign up it okay already uh, your credential is in the system so there will be no problem so how much time to alert for each question to attend all the question in time so in the questioning system uh, practice session there is a uh, there is no time bounding uh, you can um, you can take as much as time but uh, you can select the how many question you will practice suppose cardiology you uh, there is a filter one filter is the you can take the question from the all the subject and you can take the subject wise so if you select the subject wise suppose in cardiology there will be second option will ask how many question you want to practice this session 10 25 50 100 200 so uh, i will request all of you take to uh, at least 10 or 25 or maximum 50 question at a time and then you grow through and then when you will submit uh, one by one you will get the answer and when you finish these things you will get the scorecard along with the uh, the explanation also how much should we score in the question bank to get good score in the exam so uh, it is it is not like that ki, uh, you are getting 100% in this question means you will get 100% in the actual exam most of the question is recent advanced question uh, more or less similar question you will get in your exam but uh, yes if you read oxford handbook of clinical medicine at least three times and if you practice this question at least thoroughly twice then there is a high chance uh, more than 80 percent chance you will pass one go how many of you planning to give exam on the january why i'm asking this question because uh, if uh, the few of you planning to give january exam so you can make group yourself also and uh, you can practice and you can I have a small group with mentorship with us so we can help you out because really you you need you have less time so you can um, you have to finish the code and those who are planning to give may exam you have a adequate time but still i i will request you that the rule of passing this exam at least two to three times you have to cover all these questions so there are 2500 question means you have to practice 7500 question and second you have to read this oxford handbook of medicine twice minimum and also you have to follow the nice guidelines so another app you have to download it is a free app uh, of uh, nhs this nice guideline because you are giving exam uh, this is a uk exam so the pattern of question the guideline and the protocol you have to follow the nhs protocol not in the indian protocol so people are uh, getting a uh, zero mark or wrong mark on when they are thinking uh, as Indian protocol of the treatment. Though in the part one, there is a very less number of question on the treatment of, uh, on the treatment option. Most of the question is the diagnostic investigation, side effect of the drugs, and the genomic genetics 
so still uh, you will try to follow the nice guideline Thank you.